Hey. Hey. Hi there and welcome to Design Army TV. Hey. This episode summary is about colour number 14, themes. Now in this episode we are moving into the latter part of our understanding of colour, where we start to piece together our schemes and think about our designs in detail. And themes are what we use to make our ideas easy for our clients, friends or family to understand. Although our ideas may be underpinned with extremely technical information and knowledge. So my theme for space might be modern and dynamic, or modern and classical, or modern and minimal. Which gives you an idea about three very different types of rooms. and architecture. The first is a calm or tranquil theme, the second is a warm enriching theme and the last is a vibrant or dynamic theme. And the type of theme we tend to choose will relate to the use of the space and the amount of time we expect to spend in these different spaces. So if the space is going to be a living room, an office or a reception area, for these we will try to tailor the theme to match the relaxing mood we want in there as well as the length of time we expect to spend in there. On the other hand, if we want to create a temporary space that people don't spend a lot of time in, like a hotel foyer or small turnover driven cafe, we may go for a dynamic, vibrant theme. are ones such as neutral, warm, cool or pastel. So we might say that we have a neutral calm living room or a cool but vibrant gym foyer. So in trying to decide what theme you impart on your space, firstly you have to look at what the use of the space is going to be. How long will the users be in that space for and what the regionalism of the building is. So the way we colour and theme a permanent space can be very, very different to how we colour and theme a temporary space. red, yellow and orange stimulate, whereas green, blue and calm senses down. Well what we bring all this into our themes as well, and work them into what might be our permanent or temporary spaces. Also remembering how we can use tint or shade to take all the heat out of our stimulating colours. And these terms are generally well known by most people. Terms such as neutral, warm, cool or pastel. Dark, heavy, deep or openly screened. that exists between us and our clients, as they are simple and clear ideas as to what you're planning for their space. 
This is because most of us understand everyday terms such as neutral or classic or modern or vibrant and we can use them along with other terms like warm or cool to describe our spaces successfully. However, behind each easy to understand theme, like a modern classical living room, is a relatively complex technical foundation, such as an analogous scheme on the warm part of the spectrum with the primary colour in 10% lightness and 30% desaturation, plus a complementary zinger and the LMD rule applied using random dominance in a harmonious balance. Now obviously we can't tell this technical foundation to our client as they just won't understand it and the good thing is is that we want this technical information to remain a secret as part of our repertoire of designers. So we just wouldn't share all this technical information with our clients anyway. We would just let them think that we are naturally gifted and talented and not let all our technical skill cats out of our designer bags. joining me in this episode trailer about themes and I really look forward to you watching the full-length episode on themes so thank you